Now, when Freck first came to this university five years ago, Dr. Sue Hammersmith was president here at Metro State. Dr. Hammersmith became an active member of Freck when she retired in 2014. This campus community and staff have been a continuing partner for the Overcoming Racism Conference. And now it is our great pleasure to welcome and introduce Dr. Devinder Melholtra, Interim President of Metropolitan State University to welcome a few words. Dr. Melholtra. Thank you, Gloria. Thank you very much. Good morning. Welcome to Metropolitan State University. On behalf of all of the faculty, staff, students of Metropolitan State University, it is indeed an absolute delight to welcome you all here. We are honored again to invite our friends from FREC as you bring this year's Overcoming Racism Conference, Vigilance Now, here today. I, as I was reflecting on the theme of the conference, it was obvious to me the importance of that theme at this juncture of our society, nation, and indeed all of our communities. In recent months, I would say years, there has been an upsurge of racial bias, racial hatred, leading to racial violence. And so I really commend the collaborative to focus on this important issue and indeed to facilitate the dialogue around racial e equity. I see the dialogue and conversation which will occur over the next two days to spawn many further conversations. And indeed, you all have taken the commitment to lead these conversations, often very difficult conversations, but much needed. So thank you for your work. Because of your work, we will be better as a community, as a state, and indeed as a nation and as a world. So I also, at this point, want to acknowledge the leadership of Dr. Sue Hammersmith in not only bringing this conference to Metropolitan State, but indeed providing critical leadership in sustaining this dialogue and conversation. So thank you, Sue for your work and your leadership. And I wish you all the very best in your conversations. And uh, I'm eager to learn about all the great themes and thoughts and frameworks and models which will emerge so that we can move towards a more racially inclusive ethos here in, in, uh, among ourselves. So thank you very much for your work. Thank you, Dr. Melhotra, for your welcoming words and the generous partnering that continues from this university staff and community with Freck's annual Overcoming Racism Conference. I, at this time, I invite all Freck members to, who, are, who helped plan this conference to the stage, please. I want you to see that these are some of the faces of the Freck members who created this year's Overcoming Racism Conference and Freck's preceding leadership workshop and Freck's film and discussion series.
And while we are here, we want to give special thanks to Rosa Shipchandler, who's not able to be with us today. Um, but we want to recognize her for her years of leadership in FRAC as a member from Minnesota Philanthropy Partners and the St. Paul Foundation. At the end of September 2015, Rosette was appointed Deputy Commissioner of the Minnesota Department of Human Rights. We extend our love, appreciation, and congratulations to Deputy Commissioner Rosette Ship Chandler. Hurry, <laughs> Mojang. So these are the faces of Freck. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thanks, Leah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for being here. I want you to know that Okogiaman, my co-host here, along with Marjorie Otto, started the roots of this conference eight years ago. So Okogiaman, would you please share a synopsis of the history of FREC, um, the Facilitating Racial Equity Collaborative? This way? Yes. Thank you, Gloria. Marjorie, would you stand? Where's Marjorie? Hi, Marjorie. Thank you for your work. The story of FREC FREC, uh, Facilitating Racial Equity Collaborative. We call this our seventh annual conference, but in fact, it is our eighth and here's the story behind that crazy math. Uh, you will have uh, before you an image of page five, the graphic that you'll see in your uh, conference materials. If you'd like to take a look at that graph, you also see it in the image before you here. The story of FREC begins with a 2008 gathering hosted by ASDIC Metamorphosis, Anti-Racism, Study, Dialogue, Circles, and the Cherokee Park United Church Anti-Racism Team at the Cherokee Park United Church on the west side, St. Paul. The purpose of the two-day event was to provide advanced training for anti-racism facilitators, advanced training for facilitators. In 2009, with the success of that event, uh, we had uh, the house full there at the church. A group came up, and many of those people are on the stage, were on the stage today. Small group of people that said, how can we be a part of this? How can we advance this work and make it more widely available? This was in 2009, we changed the name from advancing um, training to facilitating racial equity. From the beginning, we understood that FREC was to be a learning community. From, the, from this beginning then, we said that our relationship with the conference attendees would be that of fellow learners. Initially, the primary audience was intended to be facilitators, educators, and activists. And then we expanded and said, all those who are engaged in this work will be our audience. And these would be individuals and organizations and communities. And so this is who you are today in this group. FREC members included representations from many organizations. FREC has become a community with a unique culture and identity, and that's been reflected today in this opening ceremony. In that, we've tried to remain true to our origins and sense of mission. We continue to be identified with practices of facilitation and transformation. Today, FREC is a dedicated collective of organizations and individuals committed to overcoming racism in Minnesota. 
Our, coll our collective mission is to work against structural racism and racial disparities. We are an anti-racism organization, an anti-racism organization. Our collective mission then brings us together to this particular conference, this commitment. We strive to deepen our understanding of and improve our capacity to counter racism. We organize for racial justice and best practices. We are committed to engagement with multiple communities and ways of knowing. We are resources to each other in this anti-racism work. With all of you, the Overcoming Racism Conference is, an, is another opportunity to speak and hear the truth of our history and experiences, to continue the learning and to facilitate social transformation together. We do this together as a learning community. Note the objectives that are laid out on page four, the learning objectives. Everyone is welcome to join us in this work. Those you saw on stage earlier, they accepted that invitation. To be part of this work in terms of the organization that you see that uh, has happened today and yesterday and many months be before, merely requires your coming to this meeting the second Thursday of each month, 9 to 11, at Cherokee Park United Church on the west side, 371 West Baker. And we meet there on those days. <clears throat> 